Hi, my name is Alex. Welcome to Repentance Festival on you bastards with a lot of love. We want to win the year for you, bitch. I'm in search of the uh, modern way of speaking uh, English here in Britain because it's not just the accent, it's the vocabulary. Yeah. I brought Sam to this club mm. here so we can, um, he can teach us. How long have you been living in London? Uh, I've been in London about five years now. Uh, do you live around here? Yeah, I live just down the road that way. Uh, area is called Newington Green. Okay. It's quite close to the centre of London, northeast area. You can get the bus into town. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of families, a lot of uh, young professionals around here. It's quite a nice, relaxed area. Uh, a lot of, you'd say, hipsters down the road because Dalston mm. is a few minutes away. So the people who wear cool clothes and have moustaches. So let's go inside the pub to learn some phrases and yeah. uh, some expressions. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what this pub has to offer. Yes. Because we're hungry. Okay. Yeah. So the first plate, plate or dish? Dish, I think dish is they definitely have, better yeah. British. It's the Cumberland sausages. What would that be? Uh, Cumberland is a type of sausage made with particular spices. I guess the name comes from Cumberland in the north of England. Which is served with mashed potato and gravy, which is very nice. Okay. Shepherd's pie, that's Shepherd's pie is white. That's a very British thing, yeah. It's when you're on a winter's day when it's cold outside, you need some shepherd's pie to warm your belly. So slow braised, it's cooked in the oven for a long time, uh, keep it nice and succulent, moist. Uh, is that a, a posh food or...? No, shepherd's pie is the food of the people, every man. They've made it kind of posher here because it's a nice pub and, and it's costing 12 pounds. Okay, the last... Right. Um, Typical thing that I can see here is mm. this thing here. Horseradish. It's very quite bitter like the British people. Uh, it's, it's a type of plant, it's quite a similar plant that you use to make wasabi, that kind of bitter taste. But okay. Is it any it's good? good with good with beef, usually with beef. Okay, time for our phrase in the box. Oh great. <laughs> ah no. A... I shall shake it. Prison. Wow, it's big. I'm not sure what that means. Are you doing out? We're, it's very regional. Uh, so are you doing out tonight? Are you doing anything? Are you doing anything tonight? Okay. And the opposite would be nout, of course. All right. I'm doing, I'm doing nout is I'm doing nothing. That's a good one. Yes, indeed. Yes. Neck of the woods would be an area that you're familiar with. So how would you put it on a phrase? Well, I suppose I live around this area here, so you can say this is my neck of the woods. My umbrella. That's easy. Yeah. It's an umbrella. Okay. It's a very quaint word for umbrella. Okay. Footy on the telly. Uh, Let's break it down. Footy, football. Yeah. Telly, television. So when the football game's on TV, the footy's on the telly. Tabloid time. Tabloid time. I'm going to show Sam a uh, couple of headlines and uh, he needs to explain. The first one here. Yeah. Festivals. Music yeah. festivals is a very traditional part of the British summertime. Okay. You know, you've got four days of music, camping and hanging out with friends. And yes is a very positive word. So I guess these festivals are really good. And yes, you should go. Level the playing field. Level the playing field. I'd say in the British character, you've, we're very famous for our belief in fair play. Okay. So the playing field is where you might have a sport like football or tennis or running. But in this case, it's talking about leveling, making equal opportunities in the workplace. Okay. So level the playing field so that you know, everyone has the same chance to get a job. Uh, forest bikes. In London, there is a public rentable bike scheme that I think they have in Sao Paulo and Rio. It's actually 
initiated by the mayor before Boris, but he somehow took credit for it and his name is just alliteration basically, like two Bs, Boris bike, just rolls off the tongue. And uh, that's kind of the slang term, I guess you could say, for the public bike. Cold calling is a kind of telemarketing where a company will have a list of phone numbers to try and sell you something and they'll call you out of nothing. You've never spoken to them, you've never given them permission, That's and it's cold, called cold because it's come from nothing, yeah. Everyone finds it very annoying. Rough sleepers. Rough sleepers. Um, basically people, homeless people in London who sleep on the streets is sleeping rough. Men the barricades, is that a rugby term or I think I think you can mean? use it in general because a barricade is what you put across the street to stop anyone getting past. So it could be just being in a defensive position. Okay, um, we're done with the tabloids. Yes. Um, just this one. So A and E. Uh, it stands for accident and emergency. Uh, it's the part of the hospital where if you're seriously injured, go there as soon as possible, ASAP. Okay, we need to go because the uh, pub quiz has started. Thanks, man, for your time. I really appreciate it. Bye, guys. Hi, Gabby. Good for everybody here. Yes, all are welcome. Yes, indeed. I love them.